Hi everyone, welcome back and a happy new year. I hope you had the most amazing Christmas and new year. Sorry I haven't been around very much, but I was spending some much needed quality time with my family. So yeah, I'm back though and I'm looking forward to 2019 and sharing my work with you. Um, so today we have a gorgeous gold and white set that I did this morning. Um, yeah i'm just i love it it's very simple very easy to recreate if you want to um so yeah just starting off on this pinky finger with glitter bells snowdrops white of course and i'm just making sure it's nice and neat and covered properly keeping the white away from the cuticle because i am going to be applying a chunky gold glitter there for a glitter fade and you want it you don't want it thick let's be honest you don't want to be cutting into that glitter when you're filing so i'm just going to come in now with champagne metallic mega mix from diamond glitters it's been really popular this last few weeks um obviously christmas sets and uh, new year sets i've been using loads of this it is the perfect perfect shade of gold it is not tacky and yellow it's a beautiful champagne so i'm just bobbing that at the cuticle and making flattening it down patting it and pulling it down slightly so it fades lovely into that white as you can see it has got some seriously chunky bits in as well as some very fine bits so you've got to play about with it a bit so this finger is the same mix that i used on the frosty white ones i did a few weeks ago um, it's just, it, well, it's mostly clear, which is glass slippers. Um, and then I've added a very small amount of white so that you get like this milky clear type effect. I'm going to do some white stamping over this. So obviously for the white stamping to show, it had to be a different colour to the white. So I went with the milky white. It actually looked really nice. I was happy with it. Um, so yeah, just building this nail with this because they are both car powders, so they'll be nice and strong. I've obviously prepped all these nails and tipped them all and laid down a clear base before starting. Just wanted to get that in. Because I think some people think because I don't record it that I don't do it. But I do. <laughs> Um, and then this middle one is just all snowdrops white because it's going to have some Swarovski crystals on it at the end. So just doing a nice covering. I don't like to build the full nail with white simply because white's a bit of a pain in the ass. Although the Glitter Bells one is definitely one of the easiest whites I've ever used. It is not sticky and claggy and horrible. Um, I would suggest using a wet to medium ratio for uh, this white uh, to be fair I'd say wet to medium ratio with um, all the glitter bells colors to be honest they are it's not a wet system like glam and glitz but it's not a dry system it's sort of in the middle but you can work dry or wet with it to be honest it's really versatile but I personally think like a medium to wet is definitely the best way to use glitter bells Please excuse my nails, um, I had a funeral that I had to go to yesterday and I was still rocking my Santa nails, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen them, if you follow me on social media you will have seen that I had 3D Santas on my nails so I had to quickly cover them up yesterday, so they are not perfect, not by any stretch of the imagination, I literally just painted them, filed down the Santa and then painted them and they're a bit of a mess but I had about 25 minutes to get it done, so just excuse it, I'm going to redo them tomorrow. So this one is exactly the same as the pinky, it is just a glitter fade again. Just nudging that glitter around to make sure it's in place, nice and flat. Cannot stress that enough, you need it nice and flat. And then this thumb is just a full glitter thumb and then you'll be able to see how gorgeous this glitter truly is 
So I just pick up a bead of glass slippers, nice and wet, dip it into the raw glitter and then straight onto the nail and then nudge it about nudge it up and around the cuticle it is a multi-mix glitter so obviously it is much easier to work with you can get a nice um um <laughs> can get a nice cuticle area with it oh gosh you'd think after all this time off that i'd be all replenished but i'm not i'm still very tired so I'm just making sure it's all covered and we haven't got any patchy bits. Making sure to flatten it all down. <clears throat> and then I'm just picking up chunkier pieces from the mix and just dabbing them on so you've got a nice mixture. So now it's coming to the stamping. This is a Born Pretty plate. I've used it before in videos. I will get the link and put it in the description box. This is a Born Pretty stamper, also an Amoyu polish. And I'm just putting a mandala stamping on that ring finger. And then this, uh, these are the Swarovskis I used today. It was a mix from Nails by Annabelle. I just thought to show you which one it was totally forgot I had it, found it in my drawer. <laughs> Gosh, I have far too much stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just using my Kiara Sky Dip Essentials Base Resin Glue and applying these crystals. Sorry about the banging, it's the children. So I'm using my crystal picker-upper. I got a new end for it, as you can see. Didn't realise you could just replace the ends. Much cheaper. £1.50 from Angel's Glitters. Which is a really nice company if you've not used them before. I have some of their glitters. Um, I'll leave a link in the description um, to that website. Yeah, you can buy um, new ends for the picker-uppers. I don't know if you can buy the whole picker-upper from there. Obviously, they are not called crystal picker-uppers. But... I know some people call them crystal katanas and yeah, I was using a crayon at Christmas because I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I'm just picking all these crystals up. I'm useless at, at explaining, so I'll just let you watch. Um, As you could see, it was just a mix of all different golds and rose golds and yeah, just really pretty mix. And I'm just popping them where I think they'll look nice. I'm really working hard on my crystal placement. Um, Annabelle is just incredible at it and I look at her work and I think, oh, I wish I could do that. So 2019, you will see me working super hard on my crystal placement. And that's that. Now we're gonna have a bit of slow-mo. Oh, look at them sparkle. I just love Swarovskis. I just love them. So yeah, now it's top coat time. So I'm just obvi I obviously capped and filed all these nails off camera. When I say capped, I mean encapsulating the whole nail in clear acrylic. And I am now just top coating. Go round your crystals, never over your crystals. I know you've heard me say that 70,000 times, but if you go over them, you will lose the cut and sparkle of the crystal and they'll just look like little blobs. And you don't want that. And yeah, just the beautiful glitter fade. As you can see, I didn't cut into that glitter at all. There is no silver bits. And that's how it should be. And there is the full glitter nail. Gorgeous. And this is the end result. I hope you really like them. I love them. I love a white nail. 
they're just gorgeous um so yeah i will be back tomorrow with a mermaid set i think so as long as my client arrives and i record it i will definitely be uploading it so thanks for watching and i will see you soon bye